okay so in this video i will explain what do we, what is basically refraction so when i was explaining you the lens okay so in lens i have explained you there are two processes refraction and reflection so when we are talking about lens or a transparent medium we are doing the refraction okay a practical example suppose you are having a glass of water suppose you are having a glass of water and a pencil is dipped on it in the in that glass of water you you can just do it and see when pencil will be dipped you can see the inside the water it is something else but outside the water it will be bit of bending okay so this is basically the refraction the bending the process of bending of light as it passes from one medium to another medium okay so the process of bending of light when it passes through one medium to another medium and vice versa this is called refraction okay so i have drawn here the glass of water and this diagram this diagram is very very important when we were when we are speaking about the refraction okay so this one this this is the medium okay let me explain you i'll draw it for you okay this is very very important so just understand it very carefully okay this is a medium okay this is a medium let us say this is a glass medium is glass this is air and this is air okay now when this is medium and this is normal okay when we are making the normal ray it is always dotted line so i'm just making a dotted line okay now if a light ray is traveling okay so this is light ray which is traveling and it is making an angle theta okay let us say it is making an angle i i means angle of incidence because this light ray is incident on it okay now if light ray is incident that means now this light ray will pass through air to glass okay that means the ray will bend now this ray can bend towards normal or away to normal it can bend like this it can bend like this anywhere it can go okay but it all depends on the medium the medium is denser or rarer okay so if it is going a so air is the rarer medium and glass is the denser medium and again it will be rarer medium so if it is going from rare to denser so it will bend towards normal and it will make an angle r okay it will make an angle r now we extend this now we extend this line till here and i am making i am creating an a normal this is a normal now normal is denoted by n normal is denoted by n and n dash n n n dash okay now for this normal this is the angle of incidence for this one and now the ray is transferring from denser to rarer medium denser to rarer medium that means it will it will go away from the normal and it will create the angle of refraction which is r now i need to mark this is incident ray and i can say it is i this is refracted ray which is called r and the last one is the emergent ray this is emergent ray okay so these are the three rays 
ओके सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दीज दिस इज बेसिकली अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डायग्राम फॉर रिफ्रैक्शन यू नीड टू क्लियर एवरीथिंग इन दिस इंसिडेंट एंगल एंड दिस पॉइंट इज नोन एज द पॉइंट ऑफ इंसिडेंस ओके ना सो एन इक्वल्स टू नॉर्मल रे विच इज परपेंडिकुलर टू द मीडियम ऑलवेज रिमेंबर एन इज ऑलवेज परपेंडिकुलर टू द मीडियम सो यू कैन सी दिस एन नॉर्मल रे इज परपेंडिकुलर टू द मीडियम एंड दिस आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू वेन इंसिडेंट रे ट्रेवल्स फ्रॉम रेयर टू डेंसर मीडियम रिफ्रेक्टेड रे बेंड्स टूवर्ड्स नॉर्मल एंड वेन इंसिडेंट रे ट्रेवल्स फ्रॉम डेंसर टू रेयर मीडियम रिफ्रेक्टेड रे बेंड्स अवे फ्रॉम नॉर्मल ओके ऑलवेज रिमेंबर रेयर टू डेंसर रेयर टू डेंसर मीडियम इट विल बेंड्स टूवर्ड्स नॉर्मल फ्रॉम डेंसर टू रेयर इट विल बेंड्स अवे फ्रॉम नॉर्मल ओके न वॉट आर लॉज ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन वॉट आर लॉज ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन द फर्स्ट वन इज द इंसिडेंट रे रिफ्रैक्टेड रे एंड द नॉर्मल रे एट द पॉइंट ऑफ इंसिडेंस ऑल लाई इन द सेम प्लेन ओके दे विल ऑल लाई इन द सेम प्लेन ऑल द रेज इंसिडेंट रिफ्रैक्टेड एंड नॉर्मल रे द सेकेंड वन इज द रेशियो ऑफ द साइन ऑफ द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस आई to the sign of the angle of refraction r is always equal to a constant that is sin i over sin r equals to constant n okay so this is a very important formula and you will use this formula in all the numericals n equals to sin i over r this ratio is also known as the refractive index n is also known as the refractive index okay of the second medium with respect to the first medium and this is known as snell's law okay sin i over sin r equals to n this is the snell's law so what are the laws of refraction you must know all both the laws of refraction and then what is the refractive index and what is the formula so some of some of the speed of light i have mentioned here but everything will be given to you in the formula sheet A speed of light in air equals to 3 into 10 to the 8 meter per second A speed of light in water 2.3 into 10 to the 8 meter per second and speed of light in glass 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second okay now there is another relation between the refractive index and speed of light okay so refractive index n of the medium is the ratio of speed of light c in the air speed of light in the air is always c to the speed of light v in the medium so when we are using v that means we are using the speed of light in the medium okay so when we are using v okay so refractive index we all know what is refractive index n so n equals to c by v so this is the another formula which you are going to use in the numericals and the third one so this one is theta 1 this one is theta 2 angle of incidence theta 1 is the angle of incidence theta 2 is the angle of refraction okay so another one is snell's law n1 sin theta 1 equals to n2 sin theta 2 where theta 1 equals to angle i and theta 2 equals to angle r or we can write n1 sin i equals to n2 sin r so this is the third formula which you are going to use in the numericals based on it and the another one is the relation between the uh, the relation between the refractive index and the wavelength so n equals to lambda over lambda n where lambda is the wavelength of light in vacuum and lambda n equals to wavelength of light in the medium whose refractive index is n okay so these are the four formulas you need to remember so what are the four formulas the first one sin i over sin r equals to n second n equals to c by v 
थर्ड एन वन साइन थीटा वन इक्व टू एन टू साइन थीटा टू एंड फोर्थ एन इक्व टू लैमडा बाय लैमडा एन दर इज वन न्यूमेरिकल वी कैन डू एज एन एग्जाम्पल अ रे ऑफ लाइट एंटर्स फ्रॉम एयर इन टू ग्लास द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज थर्टी डिग्री इफ द रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ ग्लास इज वन पॉइंट फाइव टू देन फाइन द एंगल ऑफ रिफ्रेक्शन ओके सो एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस दिस एंगल इज थर्टी डिग्री वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द एंगल ऑफ रिफ्रेक्शन एयर एंड ग्लास आर द मीडियम्स सो वी विल यूज द सिंपल फॉर्मूला साइन आई ओवर साइन आर इक्वल टू एन सो साइन थर्टी ओवर साइन आर इक्वल टू एन वन पॉइंट फाइव टू सो बिकॉज रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स इज गिवन टू यू इफ रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स इज नॉट गिवन टू यू इफ इफ एन वन एंड एन टू इज गिवन टू यू सपोज एन वन इज गिवन टू यू एन टू इज गिवन टू यू ओके बोथ आर गिवन टू यू एंड दिस देन यू विल बी यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला एन वन साइन थीटा वन इक्वल टू एन टू साइन थीटा टू बट हेयर इन सिंपल रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स इज गिवन टू यू थीटा वन इज गिवन टू यू यू जस्ट नीड टू फाइंड साइन आर सो साइन आई ओवर साइन आर इक्वल टू एन we'll put all the values and we will find out r equals to 19.3 degree and when it is 19.3 degree that means it is lesser than 30 degree so this ray this ray the refracted ray will be bent towards normal so it will not make like this it will bend towards normal okay so this is the numerical based on this so this is all about the snell's law what is refraction what is incident ray what is refracted ray what is emergent ray so for this whole picture this is emergent ray but when we will consider only this case only this case that means this is the incident ray and this is the refracted ray okay okay in the next video I have dis I will discuss more numericals based on refraction okay